Hello everybody, welcome back to how to build your own raffle website. Now in this uh, in this video, it's not exactly the most fun video in the world, but we're going to talk about email and how the emails are going to come from your website and get to the end customer. So with EasyWP, there is actually email already installed for you, but they only uh, allow up to 500 emails per day. And that might be okay for some of you. You know, some some people only need uh, up to 500 emails per day. But say you're selling a lot of tickets. And remember that it's almost, there might be about two or three emails per item sold. So if you can imagine if you get a notification to your email account that a ticket has been sold, that's one email. Another email would be to the person saying, thank you very much for your order. Here's your ticket numbers, all the rest of it. So usually about two emails, there might be a third, but I can't think off the top of my head. So that means per day, you might have a limit of around, you know, 175 or 250 sales per day. Uh, and that doesn't account for people opening up accounts with, you know, so say you register for an account on your website, that, that person's gonna receive an email saying, thank you very much for signing up for the account. Uh, here's your username. Uh, and all the rest of it just your standard basically you know your, your standard stuff that you would expect if you signed up to a website uh, so you've got to account for all of those things so 500 emails a day does sound a lot but you, you know it might get eaten into quite quickly so if but if you think you know you're you're not gonna uh, go past 500 emails per day don't worry about it you can just leave this video and then if you get to that point you can come back uh, and I'll show you exactly how to extend that to 500 emails per hour, uh, which is obviously more than enough probably for uh, a raffle website. So first thing you need to do is log into your Namecheap account. Now, at the in part two of this uh, video, or part two of this video series, I told you to basically click on, you know, the free trial of email. Uh, when you were signing up to buying your uh, domain name, uh, now you can add that to uh, you can add that to your if you didn't pick it basically when you were buying your domain name, you can add it to your domain name. So all you need to do is if you haven't done that yet, you, all you need to do is click manage. Or actually, I'll go into one that I haven't bought domain list. So let's say this one here. So this one here. This isn't a domain we use anymore, but if we wanted to, so if I go basically, yep. Yeah. So all you need to do is go down to private email and click buy now. And in there, you'll have different plans. So start a plan gives you one free mailbox. You know, I think this is pretty much enough to get started. Uh, you don't overly need much else so if you can you can get started with the starter plan but you know if you need to if you need to upgrade to pro for whatever reason you know three inboxes say you have you know different people involved in your in your business but you can obviously whatever applies to you you just go for that but for me i just click the starter plan uh signed up standard stuff sign up and get your account details and just sign in now to sign in to your email account, you can just go, if I go back to my account here, if I go to my email account, once you've signed up, you will see this. So, you know, validity is up to August 11th, 2020 for me. I got one out of one email or yeah, email boxes in use because obviously I clicked the starter plan. So if I go up to the very top where it says products, starter email, there we go. I can just go down the right hand side and go log into webmail. Now that'll pop up at privateemail.com here. So this is obviously a subsidiary to uh, Namecheap and you can basically just sign in win at luxprizes.co.uk. Log in there and it's just your standard, it's almost like Gmail, that kind of thing. Anyway, once you've signed up and you got your email, your login and email password, just go back to the website, so your EasyWP. So we're actually gonna uh, log in a different way. So I'm gonna go to luxprizes.wp-admin. 
So that's Siamese stream because I had signed in earlier on today. But you know, you might have your uh, a pop up come up, and you can either sign in with the account you made in the last video, or if you haven't deleted the account that came with it with the website, you can use that to log in. Again, I got a small error saying about my cookies were not allowed or something along those lines. All you need to do is open it up in a different browser or incognito mode and it should work no problem at all. Okay, so now we're logged in. What we need to do is go to plugins and add new. So at the top right hand side, we want to add a plugin, a plugin called, I think it's easy, SMTP. Okay, so I think it's this one here. That's WP Mail SMTP by WP Forms. So if we install that and then activate. Okay, that's now activated. Now you'll be see, you'll be able to see on the left hand side. You'll see WP Mail SMTP. If you click on Settings. Okay, let's get started. So all we need to do here is add in your email address that you just. Uh, created so mine was win at uh, lux prizes dot uk. Okay, you want to force to that email address? Yep. So I'm going to say lux as my forced email name. So you you can imagine on the left hand side when you get an email, it says who it's from, and then obviously from the email address. So you'll obviously put whatever you have signed up to in there. Okay, so. We want to click other SMTP here, and that's fine. We then want to go to the very top. So actually, go to Google. I'll I'll put the link in the description here. But uh, I searched for private email SMTP settings. It was the first link. All I need to do is click on that. Again, I will put this a link to this direct uh, area in the description. So all we need is our username and password. The created earlier incoming and outgoing uh, mail server name we only need outgoing because we'll only be sending um emails from the website we won't actually be accepting any web emails to the website okay so we copy the uh, server name here go back to the website and where it says smtp host we just put that in there all good, so now it's asking for encryption. I just use it as SSL, SMTP port. So we go back to our page here. So the outgoing port here, so outgoing server is 465 for SSL. So that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna use 465. I think mine's already set to that, so 465, all good. So auto TLS. Not gonna lie to you, not entirely sure what that means, but leave it on. <laughs> uh, so next, we're gonna sign in using our username and password. So all you're gonna do now is add your email. So my email was luxprizes. And then below here is where you would put your uh, SMTP password in, just in here. I have completely forgotten mine, so I will be right back once I've set it. Okay, I've saved my email settings there, so I want to go and test this email. So it's very important to test your email account. So, or basically test that the integration is uh, is happy and it's working. So Ryan, I can't find. Okay, HTML, that's fine. I want to send that email. Test HTML was successfully sent. Please check your email inbox to make sure it's been delivered. Okay, let's go to my inbox. I'm doing this off screen here. Hopefully, I'll bring this up for you. Okie doke. Now you can see here, this has come from Lux Prizes. When that's the email I set up, obviously. And this is just a, a test email saying thank you very much for using WP Mail. So that's it. Everything now should go through your email address. That you've created so also you might have done this in the last step but if you go back to the woocommerce and settings just make sure that the email that you've entered in here although you might have forced this in the last 
uh, setup of that plugin. But just make sure these are the same, just to keep some continuity in the website. Um, just from your from name and your from address there. Uh, and then click save at the bottom. So that's everything for this uh, video. So hopefully it, uh, it helped you out. And you know, obviously if you don't think you're gonna meet the, the, the threshold, or to be honest, I would actually even recommend doing this just in case you hit that threshold because there's a chance you know an email not, might not be sent uh so it's very important that obviously everybody gets the emails that they need so all good talk to you soon hopefully this helped bye bye